Yeah, what's going on? Live stream. Welcome Saturday night, taking you back to 1974. Time for a little Haze Clipper action tonight. What's up, guys? How are you? I hope y'all are doing well. A little 1974 Haze Clipper action is going to be good, man. This is a good, 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 good truck. What's up, Justin Ross? Give us some shout outs, everybody, so everybody wants to say hello. Good to see everybody, man. Zell, what's up? Just Arado, hello, Mr. Lonnie Rebel, Freightliner fan, what's up, man? Classic XL2000, what's up? Secrets in the house, Mr. 86F150, what's up, man? Lamont, good to see you guys. Night Rider, the Truck Kid Trig, what's up? The Boom 08, what is happening with you, my friend? Aaron, what's up, man? AK, what's up? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that or the, the weird, the weird guy on Soul Train. There. And here's another groovy beat. They'd always do that mess. <laughs> By the one and only Stevie Wonder. Take it away, Stevie. <laughs> what's up, uh, Home Duke fan 12? What's up, Andrew? Good to see you. Farber T. Jackson, hello. Alex Puentes, what's up, man? JB Gaming, hello. B9 Bot, a member for 27 months, man. Thank you there, B9 Bot. Awesome, man. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. First gear there for 27 months. That's a long time, bro. You got your uh, you got your star badge and everything, man. Good to see you, man. Papa Rocks as well. Matt Munson. Hello, Jeremy Hart. Good to see you, buddy. I forgot you there. Hunch, what's up, man? John. Good to see you guys there. Trace, 
Uh, good to see a plum Pete. Uh, 379 as well. Cody John Brickner, what's up, man? Uh, Pariah 79, Cowboy Duff Yellow, PJ Studio, Davis 78. Good to see you, man. Had some uh, early birds in here. Well, let's, there it goes. Uh, Popeye, I saw him in there early as well, man. Gavin, good to see you guys. Diesel's Tech. Uh, what's up, Gamer Bro? Hello, Q Grove, Master Dork. Good to see you guys in there as well. Mr. Mark, good to see you, man. Uh, Sath Reathen. Sath Reathen? Is that Sath Reathen? Sath? Sat Sath Reathen? Maybe? I'm not sure. Thunderwolf, what's up, man? Mr. Worldwide. In a world. How are you, man? Hope you're doing well. Mark Rusk, hello. Thundercat, what's up? YouTube Scythe. What's up, buddy? Cowboy. Hello, new gamer. How are you, man? I'm glad you enjoyed two videos in a day. That never happens up around here. Yeah, the 86. I know. It's it's actually, I, I didn't really, did, I knew some of the Hayes Clippers just because I've heard people talk about it. It was kind of like the Dodge Bighorn. Like, it was kind of one of those runs of trucks that didn't really last a long time. So it wasn't your kind of your, you know, your infamous, like, four brands. <laughs> so it kind of had its run and then, you know, kind of like that Dodge. But Dodge only, what, it ran for like two years, something like that. Like in, in the seventies, in the same year span. Uh, so uh, I don't know if you guys know this. The CNT Dodge Bighorn uh, from Chaos Shadow Walker had like kind of the same thing. It only ran for like a few years, and then they cut production of it. So, Mister Worldwide, look at that man! Thirty-one months. Congratulations there. Thank you guys for thirty-one level, thirty-one months of support, man. That's insane, man. That's good, man. Uh, A-Rod did a house. What's up, man? Z-Bullet as well. Patrick D. Hello, Josh Jackson, man. Good to see you guys. David78. Nice freak. Well, thank you, man. Uh, courtesy of the one and only here. This is Mason's Mod Shop. You guys probably know him as Secret in the Discord. Uh, but that's whose uh, who's rig we're going to be in tonight. So I can't wait to uh, to showcase some of this stuff to you. Lex, what's up, man? Dan Hanson. Hello. Jose Gomez. Good to see you, man. Finn. Um, you're not buying the... Dude, the Dodge CNT is actually a pretty legit truck, man. It's pretty legit. I'm not gonna lie. Like I need to bring that one back out. Uh, so when, maybe once it gets an update and stuff, we'll uh, throw it back up here because it's actually a, it's actually a really good truck. I mean, there the a few a few cabs don't look that right. They look kind of weird. But once you get past that, it looks it looks good. All right, Rich. Sounds good, man. Uh, Jose David Perez Flores. What's up, man? Twisted twelve twelve. Hello, good to see, you, man. Uh, oh, nice. Nice there, 86. Good to see you, man. 86 F-150 been around for a long time. He was one of my first FS-17 subscribers when I was streaming uh, on uh, YouTube early in the early days. So it's good to see you in chat, man. Connor, what's up? Yeah, Lex. Well, I've seen it around. And honestly, it's just been one of those things that it hasn't necessarily been number one. It's not because of anything else. It's just I didn't know how the community... I wanted to see reactions, wanted to see kind of what people thought of it and uh, kind of get my first kind of looks in it. Um, and so I, I tell you what, let's go ahead and let's just start here. Let me roll this intro. Let's pull this music down. I probably, actually, I might be able to just roll a little bit of this in the background because I'm going to, I am digging. So if you guys are looking for some funk, uh, the group that we're listening to the past couple streams is called Dr. Delight. It's not disco, but it's funk. So if you like funk with all kinds of cool guitar riffs and keys riffs and Rhodes uh, piano riffs and stuff. Go check out Dr. Delight. They're um, actually very, uh, it's a very good group. So uh, let me see if I can pull up my uh, mixer here and I'll just mix in us a little bit on the background. Uh, we're going to build up a logging truck today. So we're going to get a little build and drive today as well. Uh, and then we're going to be in the snow and the ice up in northern Canada. We're going to be up in British Columbia. Jamal Tyson, thank you there, man. Appreciate that, man. $10 <laughs> rolling on the floor. <laughs> So, uh, it's good to see you, man. Thanks there for the 10. Kevin McCurry, man. Victory there with the 20, man. Appreciate that. Now look at that. Look at the... Never mind. I'm not going to say that because that was going to be out of line. <laughs> Thank you there, buddy. Appreciate that, Kevin and Jamal, man. Thank you guys very much. Uh, Twitch, no. No, no, no. Was it? No. What, Twitch? What What did I say? What? I don't. I must. I must have missed it. Oh yeah, Jose. Yeah, I was actually imitating that guy. Well, what'd you look at that? Whenever I see a car like that, I just say, "What'd you look at that?" Yeah, that's that's where I, I'm all the time saying that now. I didn't even know where I got it, and evidently it was from that video 11 years ago that I don't remember watching. So, um, 
All right, let's do this. I'm going to... There we go. We're, I'm going to keep this up here so we can pull in just a little bit of uh, stuff in here. <laughs> That's right. Just take a look at that. Whenever I see a car, would you look at that? All right, let's roll this intro. Let's look at this truck. It's going to be a good one. I think you guys are going to like it. I like it. It's got some good stuff, and I'm even got the update. I decided I was like, you know what? Screw it. Uh, I'll tell you more about that anyway. Don't go anywhere. Let's roll that beautiful bean footage. All right. Oh, my transitions are like pow, pow, pow. I don't, I don't know why. I must have taken the cut away. Uh, Sartana18, what's up, buddy? Yo, how are you, man? I hope you're doing well, man. Thank you there for the super chat. Good to see you again as well, man. Appreciate y'all guys, man. Y'all showing up quick and early. That's always good. Let's throw a little truck configuration action at you. So let me explain this model a little bit and explain what we're going to do today. So we are going to do a build and drive, um, although I'm not going to go through a whole bunch of of stuff because I do actually want to drive because I got a couple things I want to show you and one of those is is pretty actually um, is actually really cool. Um, so this is this 1974 Hayes Clipper. Uh, you can grab this one over at um, the Mason's Mod Shop. Uh, we've got links in the description and then we'll also have some other guys will be doing some links in here. Uh, he just got off a seasonal sale that I really didn't kind of I didn't I didn't realize that was going on. I would have tried to got this in earlier. Uh, but it's 25 on the truck, so I'm going to show you everything that's got on this truck, and then I'm actually showing you the update. Um, so if you get it now, at least until he publishes an update, you'll have an update waiting on you. I decided I would go and do this because he said he was already going to put it together for me um, and get me the update a little bit early. So I was like, shoot, let me just do it now. And he even put in a little United Logistics LL. He even put a little thing in here. Uh, to uh, to give us a little skin here for the United Logging. Since we are doing logging, he said this update pretty much was like all logging. So I said, you know what? We got to do it. And thank you, Muhammad. Wow, Rafael, Fidelli, Ben, Omar. Thank you there, man. Appreciate that. I don't know if I even got your, I'm sure I got your message, I mean your name, halfway in there. Thank you there for subbing on First Gear, man. Uh, ZBullet213, thanks there for the $5. Uh, what is this? After an unsuccessful harvest, why did the farmer decide to try a career in music? He had sick beats. Burr, burr, burr. That was a play on Sugar Beats from Farm Sim. So, you know, <laughs> for those that had no idea what that was. <laughs> oh, so, I right, will try not to crash. I actually kind of know what I'm doing. And uh, I've actually done quite a bit of work to, to clean, up our, uh, clean up our stuff. So, all right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go through and show you guys what the kind of the bigger parts of this are. So, show you cabs, we'll show you frames. And then I've got just a basic build that we're going to do as a login. We're going to kind of make this thing kind of rough and tough. Uh, we're not going to do a bunch of show stuff to this because I've got an awesome log trailer that you guys will be able to purchase on Monday if you like it. You might even have it and you may have just forgotten about it. Uh, but Pinga's got an absolutely fantastic logging trailer uh, that's really like a one of a kind because we don't really have any logging trailers. So if you like logging, you want to come up here in British Columbia and do some stuff in the Frosty's Winter Mod, we'll kind of show you like a perfect little collection of all of the good stuff you guys can use. All right, so let's jump into it. You got basically needle nose flat, and you've got the regular flat top and then day cab. So flat top is basically square on the front end, but I'm going to tell you what, I am a sucker for this flat top needle nose. I don't know what it is about this needle nose, but I love it. I've never said, I guess the 521 is the closest thing that I remember to a needle nose that we've ever had really um, subjectively for ATS. Uh, so I was like, you know what, we're going to do, we're going to do needle nose on this one. So, um, so yeah, if you don't like it, then live with it. That's what we're going to do. So, uh, I figured we could do see, the long 6x4 is actually pretty good. It's actually a decently long trailer. You can actually kind of make this one a little bit showy quality if you want to. Um, it just depends on whether or not that's your thing or not. But you can put on some fat tires on this thing, which we will do. And we'll also go ahead and throw the 8x4 on this because we've got a massive log trailer that we're going to be hauling up. Um, so, we'll throw the tag in there um, as well. So, let's do uh, engine wise. Here's the thing about the engines. Um, all of these were done here. They've got so the um, the big cams and stuff were all done from Jerry uh, from Slob Jerry, um, and they're actually sound really good. I was really surprised. Um, so it's yeah, that that's that's a good one. 18 speed. We'll run that tonight. We'll run kind of the simple stuff. Although I am going to gear it a little higher. Um, let's put in 18 
Um, let's see. Let's do 18 in there. We normally are in the mid three, so I'm going to maybe stick it around a four, 11 or 390. No, no, not in the 12s. 16s. Here we go. 18s. Is that right? I guess it is the Ultra Shift. So I've got the Eaton Fuller mod in here. So we'll see how this works. I've been enjoying this mod. It's a little different because um, it does require you to think a little bit. Um, part of this, you're looking at the ratios and the differential. Um, so I'm going to attempt to throw this three. Where'd it go? Let's throw this. Uh, let's throw the 390 in there. Let's see how that does. Um, we've got paint jobs. So we got the United Logistics one on here. So we'll keep that in there. What's up, Lucy? Good to see you, man. Good to see you, buddy. I hope you're doing all right, man. I know uh, last time I talked to you, you were in the middle of some big moves, man. So I hope things are going well for you, buddy. <laughs> Very nice. All right, so let's go ahead now. Interior-wise, this is a really killer on interior. Let's go ahead and let's look at some accessories on the outside. Let's get rid of the 18 there. Um, so we got a ton of log in fronts on this, um, which I like these. He's got them all heavy loggers. So I'll kind of throw you through a few here. Uh, you got some of these for the needle nose that are that are just for this particular one. And the only reason I'm going through some of these is a lot of guys want to know about certain areas and certain bits and pieces of the build. Um, you know, a certain whether or not it's needle nose stuff, whether it's pertinent to this, whether it applies to the whole truck. So I try to go through and try to give you at least a little bit uh, of a, a little bit of, a, of an eye into what they do have. So if you like the more showier stuff. I, I kind of actually do, uh, but then again, if you like the heavier stuff, um, I love the bear on this thing, man. I love the bears. Uh, this is this is really good. You got the big ones with the fog lights in here with without fog lights, with mud flaps, without mud flaps. Um, so I'll just kind of cycle through a few of these. And um, without those, with lights, with all of this, you got 74 down here, the best. You got, uh, I think that's a Canadian license plate with the uh, uh, with uh, the mud flaps down there. Shorter, more heavier version. Got them tapered, mitered, black, painted, heavy logger. Which this is probably, we're going to set in this one tonight. We're going to set in the logger side. Got a couple of these I do like. I like uh, this one right here. And now Sartano will appreciate this because Sartano is doing some awesome stuff on his bump mapping and, and his material usage inside of um, um, inside of ATS. And this right here, man, it's got this fully textured. Uh, bumper on this thing, which I love it, man, because it's not completely clean. And I would be okay if he put that texture on all the chrome. Like, that right there to me is like, that screams 1974. It's it's lived a lap or two up and down the mountains, you know what I'm saying? So, there we go. That's That was that one. Let me freeze my track IR. There we go. And some here, you can put uh, whatever you want to. So, yeah, secret. Hey, dude, I like it, man. I, I, like, I like that. It's a, it's a nice touch, man. It's a very nice touch. What's up, Byron? How are you, man? Uh, Richard, so that's out of the Sissel's pack, by the way. I was kind of um, I was kind of like, uh, I totally forgot to do it. Uh, so that was out of um, Sissel's mega pack. Uh, it's down towards the bottom. When you pick the little icons that go across, it's uh, the truck info. It has the map and then the truck info underneath it. One of the best mods ever invented. <laughs> Because it's better than all of the in-game stuff. So, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, right, man. So, he's got some cool lights down here as well. Now, we'll say that all of KI's stuff works down here as well. So, if you have KI's light pack, you're like, oh, I wish I could add some colored lights to that. You can if you want to. And then he's actually got some in here as well. Small reds. He's got orange. And he's also got these longer orange lights in here, which I do like these, these uh, more oval lights here. Um, let's see. Where was... These lights are pretty cool, um, and I think, yeah, 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 I think I was going to go with the tapered look. I'll let you guys decide on this one. I don't, I don't know, can I do two? Yeah, I can do two. I'm the two up there because I like two. Actually, I'm going to change my mind. Let's do it on this one. I like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like those. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go up the let's go up the middle here. I'll show you what all we got. Now there are some different options if you decide to do square hood. Uh, you got a whole different set of uh, grills and options in there. No different than the the needle, but they're just a little bit different on the square front. So we're gonna go ahead and chrome. 
Uh, maybe not that. You got eyelashes. Feel not eyelashes to the uh, lights you can. We got uh, all the different grill louvers and covered versus uncovered. Different colors here. You got green chrome, which I like this one right here. And then you can add chrome surrounding to this, which we are definitely going to add just because that's a nice pop. And if you want to add surrounds in black, you can. And then if you want to add bars, you can. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to keep it simple. And I love this emblem up here. Got the grizzly bear up there on top, which I think is a really nice touch. Um, if you like these lights, keep them. If you don't, I'm going to leave them off. Uh, engine, whether or not you want to do red or yellow engine in there, depending on what brand you want to roll with. Totally up to you. Uh, then we'll move on back here too. Uh, so Z mods, so you could add them if you wanted to, new gamer. Um, I think he's got the N14 definitions in here. So if you have the N14 and if it's loaded in the profile, you can play it. Um, but I think most of the other ones came uh, either from Creatures and Slavs, I think. And Secret could correct me on that exactly where all the engines came from. Uh, but at least, yeah. But I think that's. Uh, but I think that's where it's. Uh, you can add that for you know if you know the truck name or if you, he gives you a truck name, you can add it to whichever ones you want to. Which I guess one that you might was the AV92. I mean, that might be a, just that two-stroke engine would be something that somebody might would have a more older school flavor for this, you know. Um, I guess it depends on what you want. Um, let's see if we can sneak in here and let's grab this. I think this is it. Yeah, so he's got a couple different uh, filter options here for left and right. They're separated. Or if you want them both to match, obviously we're going to have them both match. And I kind of like the painted, to be honest with you. Um, and he does have, I got to find them, got to find the node. I think those are interior ones there. Okay, I don't want to get too far. Hang on. I think I, I can't remember. If I, uh, I can't remember. I think I can add lights to these. I think. I just got to figure out which node it was. Red, yellow. Okay, that's the under ones there. Okay, these are the halves. We go ahead and knock these out there. Oh, okay, sounds are all from slide. Okay. Okay, all right. So I know I saw some of the icons there. It, it was reminiscent of the, the Creatures pack. So, all right. So all, all the sounds are from Slav. So cool. Well, I definitely like uh, being bleak, the big cam was the one I was, uh, I, was, I was jamming in that one earlier, man. That's good stuff. All right, so I'm going to leave the chromed out version here. We've got that on there. The steps, uh, we can do whatever we want to. Oh, the flat top wide hood. Okay, okay, okay. All right, that's why it was. I saw those in the other one. Okay, so my bad. So you can get the lights on the square hood, but not the, uh, but not this one. So, okay, my bad. I was wondering what those were. It's all good, man. <laughs> that's why it's good to have you guys in here. So I'm like, I don't look, you know, terrible. All right, it's so one of these half chrome. Uh, uh, sure. And let's throw, let's leave, let's leave the diamond plate on there. A little more, uh, a little more rough and tough. You can do chrome kick plates and stuff if you want to. Um, I'm gonna save. Let's see. We'll do mirrors on the inside. Uh, we'll do ceiling. That's all ceiling stuff. Um, let's see. Those are the anti glare things, aren't they? The anti glare spotlights. Is that what they call in? Thank you there, Zach. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, the all slots too. Hey, you know what? I honestly don't care if they're all slots. I mean, you know, you monitor sometimes you'll get a little crazy in the chicken lights. I like them if you already have them set up. I would tell you honest, man. I saw that and I was like, oh, thank goodness I don't have to click through all those stupid lights tonight. <laughs> I was like, yes. Oh, it's kind of funny how you, you know. All right, so I'm going to do a painted front on this. Um... Then you've got stock lights on here, which are like a clear um, a clear lens or whether or not you have the orange lens. We'll throw the clear lens on there. I like those. Uh, you can add the AC or the AC. Uh, it is the AC, right? It's the middle of winter, so we won't need that. Now, if you want to, I don't have them in here, but if you want to, if you have the Big T Brytax, um, the Big T Brytax uh, beacon set, all of his beacon stuff is all in here is compatible. I don't have it in today, but if you do have that set and you want to run those as kind of your warning lights, then you certainly can. All right. And 
Yeah, here we go. Let's, let's show you some pipes. <laughs> you look like a goof, Tyler. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just, I don't know, man. I'm actually looking at this now. I'm going to put red in there. Sorry. I had to make a executive, a executive decision. Let's throw you through some, uh, let's throw you through some pipes here. Hey, what's up, Johnny Newt? Good to see you, man. Uh, what what did Cecil what did Cecil say? What Cecil say? Uh, oh, <laughs> 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 sorry, I'm seeing something else. Oh, a classic air start. Yeah, um, mm, I don't know. Slobber Seeker might be able to help, but there used to be some older school engines that had the air start. But I don't even think they were I don't even think they were associated with the right engine. It's like someone just put an air start on a random engine and was like, here you go. <laughs> it's kinda okay, it was kinda weird. It's kinda like, uh, okay. So you got a, a good selection of turnouts, you got some good selection of miters depending on what you like here, what you want. You've got painted covers if you want those, and then you've got the more standard stuff up here at the top. Uh, I'm actually these little, uh, I'm still, I, I'm, I'm still partial to these, these style, man. I, if it was a little bit taller, I'd be like, oh my gosh, this is my jam right here. Um, they might look a lot different with the day cab on though. I always think when you put a flat top or some kind of a sleeper on the back of them, you have to put taller pipes on it. If not, it just looks funny. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, these are pretty, these are pretty meaty. I, I would say these are probably my first kind of go-tos. So we'll, we'll leave it on there for now, unless I wind up changing my mind. Because really, once we get to the interior, there's a whole new set of, of stuff on the interior, which I think you guys, uh, I think you guys will like. Um, the real Aiden, what's up, flappers? I, I know. I okay. All right. So you don't you don't keep flappers. Eighty six says he'll keep some flappers. It's kind of like my mouth. It, it's kind of a flapper. It just never really stops. As long as the engine's running, it's kind of flapping. You know what I mean? All right, let's see. That's all interior stuff. That's the bright tank stuff. All right, so tanks, you got a whole slew of stuff. Now, one thing I do like is the big old box. Now, the one thing with the box is you do have to pull this away. Um, but if you do this, then you can put the tank up front, which actually I'm going to do. I don't know if that's the logging way of doing it, but I actually like this storage box right here. So that's what we're going to do today. And then... You got another box back here. Look at this. Already got stickers on it. That's my kind of truck right there. With the other chrome old oh crap handle in the back. Um, and I think now let me let me let me before I get too far here. Okay, let me take the box off. You've seen the box. Let me take the box off. Full logging rack on the back. And you've also got a few other things as well. So you got the headache back with cables underneath, which is kind of nice, which are like right up under here. Uh, and then you've got the heavy haul rack, which is pretty slick too, which if you want to, you can put your beacons up here, backup lights. And I think it's got room up here. If you want to do the, the bri tax thing, you can't do the backup light cause that looks weird. But yeah, if you wanted to throw your big beacons up there, you could, I don't have those. So I'm going to have to take an L on, I should have put that in, but I didn't. So let's go back to the, uh, let's go back to the, uh, headache rack in black. Then we can have fun with wheel covers, which we're actually probably, honestly, not even going to put wheel covers on this, to be honest with you. Um, yep, I wanted to put that on there. Let's see what we got in here. Stock, might do that. Yes. Yes. What's up, Riley Garrett, all the way from Florida. Black rims with chrome caps will look good. We just might play around with some wheels then. I'll see. I'll see what we got going on. Uh, so you, if you you can see how if you want to do show truck end of this thing, you can do the fully enclosed wheels. Not exactly on this one. I don't think that build really suits this one all that well. Um, but uh, how about black tires with chrome wheels? Huh? 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 I think that's a winner, man. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny because I was actually going to do polished wheels with, 
you know. So, I mean, um, so I'm probably not necessarily like it. Then you can do paint it if you want to. I mean, I'm kind of not really. I kind of want to let the wheels sing. You know what I mean? Like, let the wheels just be free. We never, we're always closing the wheels off. You know what I mean? Never let them get out there and breathe on their own. Oh, that's for the tank. Okay, never mind. Hang on. All right. Style one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, that dresses it up right there already. All right, so we'll throw the we'll throw the Coleman there for right now. <laughs> no, no time for dinner plates. No, no, no dinners. All right, so let's see what's up, Piggy. We are just having some fun, man. I don't have the Trilex, you know, Tyler. Dad gummit. that would have been a good one, man. Um, I'm not, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, man. Trilex would have been a good one. I don't have the split wheels in there. I basically have Smarties wheel pack. And y'all are probably like, oh my god, the FTG is such a YouTuber thing to do. You have the one and only mod. Blah, blah, blah. Mm, gosh, I really kind of want to check that out. Hang on a minute. I think I've got those. I think I've got those in here. We're going to see if we got those. <gasps> <laughs> and he's like, yes. Oh my God, I can't believe he's actually putting them on. Now this is Steam. Trilex rims from Overfloater are some beast wheels and you can color code them so i know i don't know why i didn't put them in there actually i do because i was like no nah, we'll just put some chrome smarties on it call it a day and get driving no somebody like named tyler had to come in here and be like hey but she's on some trilex rims there ftg you gotta go trilex bro with the funk man you gotta gotta move and groove with the beat all right no, I don't have the beacons. I have to go get them. I have to download them. <laughs> I'll have to go download them. We'll, we'll be fine with this. We'll be fine. I get too crazy here. Um, I did Wavy. Or at least I did all of the... Um, this one was done, I think, by Mr. Uh, by Mr. Seeker himself. I did all the ones on, our, um, on my ETS and ATS stuff on the Discord. Mmm. Let's see. All right. Wheels. Willage. 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 I that truck's got a nice stance already. All right. So, I guess. Let's see. It's been a while. It's been a minute since we've done the Trilex. But, anyway, that's the shiny ones. We're not going to do the shiny ones. we got to do the paint ones, right? Uh. All right. So, here's where things always get a little bit funky. <laughs> all right so these i uh, gotta figure out what our color combo Th this is where i always get lost in these so white rim red inside all right tyler i'm banking on you bro don't let me down let's see which one which inside is this this red inside black on the outside is that we're doing black on the uh on the um which what would you really call those they're not really What would you call that piece? Would you do white there? Go ahead, Tyler. Finish them out for me, bro. Help me. Help me. <laughs> I just no. I just getting a. I'm getting a. Uh, I'm getting a chuckle at his name. <laughs> Is that really your name, Ben? I bet it's not. Wedges locks. That's what I was thinking. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see. He said everything else red. I tell you what. Let's leave these outer, these outer blanks black. Let's see what this looks like on the back. So essentially, we got white on the rim. We got red, black, and then a uh, red center hub. I'm kind of. I'm kind of blah. <laughs> I'm kind of blah. We, uh, I mean, I guess, I guess in reality, what we could do is we could, let me find the bigger part of this. Oh crap. Where'd it go? Yeah, here it is. And I guess we could match that with the red that's there. It's not really a full red. It's more of a kind of a whiny red. <laughs> whiny red. Sounds like my Discord. Whiny. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just picking on y'all. I think we'll try to match the paint on that just a little bit. You know, just just give it just a little flair, but not too much. We don't want to. We don't hurt anybody's feelings. You know what I mean? Uh, okay. All right. Let's knock these other wheels out. Yeah. It's good. Good thing. Now I got y'all laughing. I got y'all where I want you. All right. Oh yeah. I like these. These rear trilexes are my favorites. I could deal with the fronts like, eh, they're, they're hit or miss. I don't care. But these right here, man, these are where it's at. I guess I need to save this color is probably what I need to do. Right. Let's get back up here. All right. So let's, uh, we're going to save that right here. How about that? What's up, Peterbilt man? <laughs> Nobody's hurting anybody's feelings. <laughs> oh. All right. That and then black. He. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty. Uh, that's that's pretty good. What's the? I'm gonna see what the variation too is. What does it just add like this? Is like a chrome ring on the inside. That's interesting. I think that must be a new add on there. Oh, where'd they go? There they are. Yeah, I guess they just add that that new little. Well, I kind of like. If we're gonna go red, we just get red. We just go all the way. Well, at least we got some good years to add on it. I thought you could do uh, um, Smarties on that. Am I missing something to the guys that know Trilex? Has it always been this way where you couldn't use Smarties tires on there? I was th I was thinking that you, you could, but, I mean, I, I evidently not. Evidently, I am just don't know what I'm talking about. Just over here, just old squirrel trying to grab a nut. Blind squirrel trying to grab a nut. No smarties. Ah. Okay. Well. Maybe. Oh. I know what I was thinking about. I was thinking about the Trilexes from RTA. So RTA has got. If you have their 359. So they've got um, an awesome set of Trilex that comes with their truck. That if you put the mod in. It overwrites the truck. And it comes with its own Goodyear. That's, that's what I'm thinking of. It's beefy. I wish I, I've told them three or four times, man, dude. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta make a tire and wheel pack, dude. I was like, you sell the, you sell the lights out of the building. They don't. Hopefully, one of these days I can talk them into it because y'all would love it. It's amazing. It's by far some of the beefiest wheels I've ever seen in uh, in ATS. So, all right, let's at least put all the uh, endurance fuel max. These are weak tires. Nobody cares about endurance or fuel when you're hogging, hauling loads of trailers up and down the mountain. The only thing that's coming around this mountain's all big old truck load of logs there, FTG. Not worried about them fuel cost saving cutting measures. All right, let's uh do uh, we'll leave the chrome rings on the back. All right, let's move the interior because 
I think you guys are going to like the interior on this truck. Not only does it have a nice, healthy set of stuff on the outside, but you got to remember, you also got a squared in front, um, a front end for this thing as well. It's not just this. And by the way, let me look at some real quick. What y'all look at that? Let's throw the chrome in there. I don't know. Yeah, let's throw the chrome in there. Why not? It'll get us home, right? All right, so let's ex accessorize this bad boy. All right, so this is part of the update, some of this. Some of this, most of what you've seen now, you'll receive, except for, like, some of the logging bumpers, some of the headache racks. Um, there's a few little parts here and there. Most of it is all in the bumpers, and there's some nice interior adjustments here in the part of the update. So what you are seeing is what you guys are going to get as an update, even if you buy this thing tonight. First, right out of the gate, what you're going to see is this coming out for an actual update, okay? I just want to make sure that you guys know that and are clear on that. So um, very, very nice stuff in here. You got all the shifter gameplay here, which is really, really nice. Very well done. You got a couple different kinds of seats. You got wood grains that you can choose. You've got all of this right here that you can choose, the door panels. All of your buttons can be different colors. The textures can be different colors. You can put bed spreads on. You can change the windows back there. You literally can do almost everything in the interior of this truck, which I really like being able to do the interior of a truck. Because um, it's not only, you know, I spend 90% of my time inside of this. The only time that I'm outside is when I'm actually doing stuff for y'all on videos. Other than that, I keep my butt inside the truck because that's where I love being. So I'm going to keep the white in here. Now, here's what you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to showcase a few things we got here. So he's got a couple different chrome and black. The chrome and black rings are actually very nice on this dash. Um, but I, actually, I'll keep the chrome and black on here. So um, actually, no, that's the, uh, here we go. So aside from that, you can essentially do any color combo that you want from red tan white green blue and brown from dash colors to door panels to the the firewall cover here to seats to bed spreads to all of this up here to the ceiling um, and there is a lot so i'm going to try to like figure up a good combo here i'm probably going to mix some grays and we're probably going to mix some tans i like black and tans when it comes to the old stuff it just looks really classy um so Bear with me here, and let's see if we can come up with a couple of things here that might work for our trip down into British Columbia. So I'm going to leave a neutral dash on here for right now. I like the consoles pretty slick. You can't change the color of the console, but you can change the color of the, um, the back, which the red is actually a pretty color. We might try red and black. Let's try red and black. I'm going to just... Uh, see what the top red looks like and we may i'm just going to go through these and i'm going to show you guys what you can do so you can also do these you can do black and white mixes on the buttons uh you can do gray and black you can do white and brown which is an interesting combo i wish i had oh, a black and brown mix so if you want to do the black and tan mix you can which is pretty slick so let me let me just do this let's just do oh i don't want to do that thank you there brandon and Jose Gomez, thank y'all for the subs. Appreciate it, fellas. Uh, yes, that wood type. That wood type is awesome. Let's do that. Let's do this on a Let's do this on a gray. Nope, 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 nope. Mm, 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 mm. Fuck, I'm going to mess it up. Then we'll be like, oh no, oh no, you lost it, FTG. You had it, bro. You lost it. All right. Well, you kind of see what we can do here. <laughs> and you can see where I'm going to have problems. Um, let's do this. So let's throw something, uh, let's throw the blue plaid on there. You can do uh, all of you, if you have the DLC, it's got compatibility with that. Then you can throw all, all these. Everything's going to be trimmed in black, so... It's all going to have at least something to anchor it down. I'm definitely not... I'm not really not hating the red, to be quite honest with you. Um, nope. So if you throw this one, throw the red there, and then we'll throw a gray in the middle. Um, so you got the vent pads here. You can actually do colors on this as well. Um, and then this one right here. So this, some of this is on the update as well in these interiors. Just, just, just mind, some of this is on this, but you'll be getting this very soon, so... 
It's not like, you know, this update is like five years away. I'm actually di I'm actually digging the wine. So let's just do a red and black. I actually like this. Um Blue red pile. Yeah, we gotta make our our blanket has to match, you know. It, it can't we can't mix that up. That's just too much. Alright, so let's do red there. Uh let's do gray seats. And you got two different kinds. You got like this kind of weirdish uh kind of a pleathered work flat truck seat, you know, and then you've got the the more rigid. I don't know necessarily if one's more comfy. This one probably is more comfy. <laughs> so we'll sit in that one. There we go. We leave white, so you can do. It doesn't matter, you know, but he does have it where you can remove the steering wheel, which actually is nice. I, mean, I know he probably thinks, well, it's stupid that you got to remove the steering wheel, but actually for guys like myself that run a lot in triple screen, I actually don't like seeing the steering wheel move. If I move close enough that this becomes my steering wheel, like I don't I don't want any of the other stuff to be in the way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, said, <laughs> it doesn't really matter to me. I'm, I'm good either way. But I do like the little logos in the middle. Uh, you've got the chrome and black rim dash here. You can take the console out if you want to. You don't have to keep it in there. Um, but if you did, it would just keep the CB at the bottom. Yeah, but I, obviously, man, it's pretty cool to keep that in there. If you want to do slots, and you can put stickers on here. We'll put a good old US of A sticker there. We'll put, uh, well, since we're going to brie in uh, British Columbia, how about a maple syrup sticker? We'll throw that right there. Sure, why not? We'll throw Jippus right here uh we got red there we got now nah, i'm not throwing any more in there what's the other thing uh yeah these are right here so these are already installed mirrors are done that's done so yeah i think this is it look at that look at that man that's just like that texturing up there the lighting is, is crazy man it's good stuff and does the gray logo no nah, we need to go white I'm going to do white with the logo. That's good, man. Yes, the dash wood. I did show that. I can show you guys just again. I did go through. I changed it once. Um, there is a couple different ones you can do. Not that one. This one. So you can do gray. You can do white. And then you can go through about three or four different. It's got four different wood types, grains in that. So you do brown, brown woods. Uh, whether or not do this really fire kind of almost like a it's almost like a walnut kind of ish look on it but then you can make the door panels match as well so you can match those match whatever you got maybe that's why this one looks so good with red because it's got that red uh, red undertones in it already but that's that's by far my favorite one I like that one and I'm actually going to change that to gray so we got a nice mixture of red and black in here. I like that, man. You can't change the shifter. Uh, so I'm sure that this shifter, uh, and I can't remember exactly the style on those, uh, if it's a 10 speed, but you had to pull this pin and then shift, which essentially kind of is the same replicated stuff when you're doing switches on, uh, you know, a modern day Eaton style shifter. Um, it was just the more old school way of doing it. But I'm sure there's some truckers in here that could, you know, I'm sure that they can correct you if you're wrong. Or I'm wrong, for that matter. <laughs> so we're doing a build and drive right now, Redneck. <laughs> so there she is. So it's really got a nice stance out here. Hey. Eh? Sounds old, don't it? Oh, I love SES's horns. Sound packs come with the truck believe it or not sounds all come in the truck and it's all jerry slav so he's um i won't say he's relatively new 
Uh, he's been around the block a time or two when it comes to um, to F to uh, ATS. Uh, probably more recognized when F mod came out. Um, we've had a few guys, uh, Rabinicus or Robinicus with Creech Bomb, obviously Z and Slob Jerry kind of have at the top four. Oh, and um, uh, the All C, uh, Johnny Cash. Those four or five guys have been kind of holding down the fort when it comes to sounds. They've been doing really good work. So, all comes within the truck. So, let me go ahead and let's pull out our logging trailer because y'all are going to, um, let's see, here it is the Pratt One log trailer. <laughs> this thing is beast. Oh, I'm not going to put Trilex wheels on this. All right. Um, and I probably might be able to put a horn mod in that might would change that one. Um, I just haven't done it. Sorry. Right. Look at this. Look at, look at this. Uh, look, at this look at this trailer. <laughs> And it's got a cool. So this one's from from uh, this one is from uh, gosh, went blank. Pinga. Uh, but the thing about this one, just so everybody knows, um, is that he is redoing his site, so it will be available Monday. Um, he is redoing his site to basically feature all of the new stuff, so that'll all be coming in Monday. All right. All right, let's do some driving, man. Woo! CSX, what's up, man? Oh, look at that. Sorry, didn't mean to put y'all way up there. My beat. Uh, it's coming back, Tokyo. Uh, it's coming back. Um, it is coming back Monday. So we're in Pemberton. Um, so I'm going to see if... Um, Oh, I would love to go up in here, but I don't know this trailer can honestly make it. So what I'm looking for, um, let's go, let's go over here. This looks passable over here. Let's go. I'm going to go over to this one and let's see if we can pick up over here. That's just right across. I don't normally do this in stream, but you know, for today, I am not about things not working or crashing and. Yes, Trace. Maybe it's pulling the hot air off of the roof and blowing it towards your face. That's what we're going to go with. Because I got to say, we turned the gas logs on in the house today, and we turned the fan on so it would blow the, the heat down in our face. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of trolling you, man. It's fine. All right, so I think this is our stop. Let's pull, uh, let's pull, there we go. Uh, okay, yeah, there we go. There we go, just a little shorty, that's what we want. It's not really shorty. 240 miles in British Columbia is actually a long way. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> oh my gosh, man, I'm sorry guys, hang on. All right, I gotta remember that. I, I've set a few hot keys to my stuff, so you guys were seeing the full operation there. Um, all right, let's see where we're at. I think we're supposed to go around right. And of course we were. All right, we're going to have to unfortunately cheat. I don't like doing that. Should have followed the pathway of traffic. All right. So the mod that I have for the map is we have Pro Mods, uh, which is free. It is the Pro Mods Canada. 
Um, so we have that in there, and we also have Frosty's Mod. Frosty's Mod is nothing more than texture replacement. Um, so it is not necessarily like another map mod or some other kind of funky mod that you have to... It's just a simple download. Put it at the top of your list, and there's also the, the, the mod, and then there's the... Um, there's the mod, and then there is the... Um, oh, my gosh. Just mine went blank. There's the Heavy Winter mod. So no, this is the this is the NTC Big Cam from Slav Jerry. So this is all sounds inside the truck. All right. Now I do have a mixture of Z mods and some other stuff around here as well. It's not just this truck. Um, obviously, you're hearing the sounds from the road noise uh, is from his mod, and you're hearing some other stuff. But at least the engine, air brakes are from Z. But at least the engine that you're hearing from is from all inside the truck. Oh, I don't know if we can get it. Yeah, we are. So so this one, for whatever reason, I'm not exactly sure the, the rhyme and reason for these, but so these are all on a boom loader, and so there's a saw and a boom loader on this particular truck, and this is the way that they load them. Um, they're cut short and stumpy. Um, they're not elongated because you can see how they've, see how they've got the boom in the middle. So it loads up one front side kind of like a kind of like a load king it'll put one belly in and get all the loads logged strapped chained and then it'll work on the rear one so it's not um so there's a bunch in this particular load in this particular log trailer pack there's about probably 10 logging trailers this is by far one of the biggest and one of the funkiest ones but they also have some that are like um, rear kingpin pivot trailers where you just have two sets of dolly wheels out in the back and basically the the, the tree um, the trees are loaded on the front pin and then they swing on the rear axle pretty cool But I thought this was just such a different and such a large trailer It was probably the the medius to pull with the needle nose. So they, Yeah, I could honestly do a whole other live stream just on this log trailer. There's so much to do in here. So Let's roll some window down Let these uh, let these engines sing. Let me let me fix the view a little bit here. Let me get just a just a hair back here, and then let's tilt the wheel up a little bit there. There there we go. I'll dunk on it. Did it to y'all again. There we go. Um, I don't know if this one has that. I don't think this one has that one, Desperado. Um, I know the one you're talking about. I think that was uh, Chaos Shadow Walkers. I think Chaos Shadow Walkers has got a large, a large one like that that you can that you can pull. Thanks, fanatic farmer. You're looking mighty pleasant and snazzy yourself, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah, John. Yeah, it's Pinkus. Yes, the Mega Cargo. I'm pretty sure it had like three or four large trees. If we get this one, um, if it goes pretty quick here, we're only at 50. No, we're only about about, about an hour. Um, Oh, this haze will have no problem. I'm only I'm only half throttle, boys. We're only half throttle, man. We got we got plenty of pedal left. <laughs> yes, let me get on the downhill and I'll rip some Jake for you. I'm just kind of cruising up the hill here. Uh, it's just part of a. It's just part of the truck animations there. Tyler. Yeah, just part of the truck animations. That's what that's, that's what I thought. C Pain. I thought it might have been his, but although you can now with uh, with Pingas, man, you can you can definitely do a ton of big stuff with his now. Like he's got some legit stuff on this trailer, on this log trailer, man. It's it's nice. This is. 
probably at the length is probably the longest, but there's about another three or four different axle combina combinations with this trailer. Um, plus there's about three or four different combinations of just the dolly wheel that basically holds the base of the tree. And the other part is up near your kingpin on the truck and it's just literally just, just follows the truck wherever it goes. It's a pretty slick trailer too. But I thought this was just interesting because it's got the boom attached to it and you know, it's definitely got an obvious, like it's just a little bit different, a little bit different. Yeah, and I, and I don't think his nitros is he's got logging. I know he's got the big that other big one. There you go. You can hear that. Uh, the Jake sounds good with the windows rolled up too. It's a very nice balanced sound on the interior. It's very nice. I can deal with a lot of things sound wise. Like I can deal with stuff that's not completely, you know. Like legit in any in any because I mean you know the, the thing that does amaze me is that a lot of our sound guys are doing stuff and and they might not have everything at their fingertips um, resources for sounds and all of the other things just because it takes money to rent trucks and go out and record and all of that other good stuff um, but when they can pull it together and, and pull a good balance together like I'm all for that you know like I'm I'm all for that win so. I think this one's got a really nice balance of just the engine itself with the turbos and everything else going on, but then it's also got that Jake brake that just has got the bite to it, but it's not overbearing. It's not, you know, obnoxious. It's not weird. It just has a really nice balanced sound to it, especially in the lower gears where you go a little bit faster. It sounds good. I'll let y'all hear it. And you guys can see Trucky there on the right. So we have 15 minutes left on this load on the nav down is my favorite. 75,000 pounds of wood is what we got. It's Braylorn Deep Grove going down to Merritt, uh, British Columbia, so Pro Mods Canada. <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> Let's go ahead and let's down and shift a little bit here. Climb that hill. Probably could have got a little better run and start on that. There we go. bumper man look at the texture on that bumper man that that's some sartani goodness right there man put that put that bumper with sartani's trailer man we got us we got us we got us a winner right there man <laughs> well to be fair the big cam on this is only like a 400 horse so she well she's only i mean y'all were yeah y'all were y'all were touchy tonight man she's not struggling i'm just going slow to pick the pick the pick the the speed up here, grab some momentum and stuff. She'll carry right over these mounts, no problem.
No way. <laughs> well, I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> it's probably won't be ripping across there like that. Look at this scenery, man. Look at this water, man. Nobody does water like pro mods. Ridiculous. It's <laughs> ridiculous how good their stuff is. I just wish they had more guys working on this map. Most of the time, this would all be in just regulars. Uh, so if you're kind of curious, like, well, yeah, it must be like a snow map. Uh, it only, I don't think this map has any snow on it by default. Um, Pro Mods, the only snow that I know of is on their ETS2 map in Iceland and up north around Russia. Um, I don't think any of the Canada map has snow on it by default. So all that I'm running is the um, snow mod from, um, uh, from Frosties and the heavy winter mod. So I, I would agree with that, Just Rado. Uh, I think that, um, I think. So there's two creators that have done a really, really fantastic job with with older trucks. Um, Chaos Shadow Walker, I think, has done a fantastic job bringing just some of the older trucks to life um, where there really wasn't a market for the older trucks. Um, and I think um, I think Seeger's done a really good job with this, man. Uh, this is, this is I mean, this is good. For one, it's good modding. It's good quality. Uh, it runs really good on the system. I don't feel like I'm, uh, you know, pushing like I would with some of the Ruta stuff. Um, very good use of textures and materials. Um, so if you are looking for the F2G uh, stamp of approval before you do it, then the good thing is even when you buy this, you're already going to be looking at an update that's going to be coming in there really soon. So at least you got a you got to update for some of the logging stuff, the headache racks, and some of that stuff to be uh, yeah, adorning your uh, your doorstep whenever that stuff gets ready. All right, Tokyo. All right. Uh, so you know that none of that is his truck, right? So you're giving someone a lot of credit for a mod that they didn't create. <laughs> I'm not sure why you're still on the legit almost stalled. We still had three, six more gears to go. I could throw this thing down and um, I could throw this thing down in first and climb right by all these hills. Yeah, for those that, I mean, you, you may like the hater-built truck, but it's not what y'all think it is. If y'all haven't been here, that truck's been around for like about four and a half years. We've got a nice hairpins up here. I like this climb. There's actually one that's really, um, there's one road down here. I, I have to go back and look at it and figure out which one it was. But there's one that's, um, there's one that's a, a lot of really, really, really crazy back and forth. I don't know if this trailer would actually make it up there. I don't know if we could do the, I don't know if we could do the hairpins. Might be a little bit icy, even though it's a little bit snowy. But this is good. I I, I enjoy the the technicalities of, of especially the new areas of this map. Are right, we going downhill? Oh, we're hitting off road. Oh, well. Again, which is freight shaker is not his. I guess that's the frustration I have sometimes. People calling mods at theirs that aren't theirs. That freight shaker is not his either. It's just his edit, which you can't claim an edit. You claim an edit as what it is, an edit. It's not it's not a full truck. I just I can't stand that. Be original. Or at least call it what it is. That's that's basically all I'm saying. Because if I'm not mistaken, that is Oddfellow's Freightliner that he's lowered and put a bunch of lights on. Which has been out of date since like one three two. Now I know physics on this. I I, I can't. I, I you know not and keep up with chat and then uh, keep up with what's going on in the truck. That winds up just sending you in. A, well, at least it sends you off the side of the road, and then it becomes annoying for everyone to watch you try to get out of it. <laughs> That's it, man. <laughs> And typically I don't like the, the physics because they're not really realistic. 
Um, I mean, all they do is take the traction in your tires away, but only at a certain speed. So it makes you basically wind up just having to crawl through the the map, which I'm kind of like, man, I'm kind of already, I'm already crawling. I don't want to go any slower. <laughs> Actually, a pretty mean front end. I actually like the needle nose better than I do the squared in front, the uh, flat top. To be honest with you. What's up, Brad? How are you, man? Cold Nutrition, what's up, guys? How are y'all? Hope y'all are doing good. All right, so I'll go ahead and fill you guys in a little bit on. Um, you guys a little bit on what's happening so we got the haze uh 1974 haze clipper so this is definitely old school mods if you're kind of in for that old school metal this is definitely might be a truck for you you are previewing the new 2.6 update um so this will be dropping here really soon for everybody that does have this truck you get automatic updates of course for this um and uh, sounds that you're hearing um I don't know if, if the Peterbilt sounds are coming through that or if they're if they're kind of something like similar is built into it. Air brakes for ZME, uh, Z mods, uh, but all the sounds you're hearing are all built into it. So no sound packs. He's got his own engine packs that are all done by Slob Jerry. He's done a fantastic job with these. This is the big cam is what you're listening to. I thought this was the most like original for this one that we probably have not heard on this channel for like a long time. Um, so this is a really good uh, reiteration of that big camp engine so good jakes good balance good all of that all that good stuff and then on the back we've got uh, the log trailer from Pinga so that log trailer is will be is up for sale now but um, his particular mod trailer uh, mod website is not up to date right now uh, he is migrating to an actual website so you guys will be able to have an account. You'll be able to have all of your downloads in one place like you can with KI Shadow Walker or Bart's if you bought mods from those guys. Uh, so that'll be coming soon to ping as an actual full out account website. That way you can have all your orders, downloads all in one place. So make sure by the end of this weekend, if not Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, make sure that you're looking for emails. If you bought anything from ping in the past couple of years, um, you will most likely be on that on that ticket so make sure that you update look for the email because you'll have to come up with a password that you'll have to enter for his website so make sure you don't let that slip by because um, if not you'll have to message him and he's brazil speaks portuguese not a lot of uh, great english so that's probably going to be a tough conversation to try to have so once those emails go out don't miss them don't miss the window to get all that stuff taken care of Let's see. So we're going down to Merritt. Uh, Merritt in British Columbia. So well, it's got 144 miles. <laughs> it's uh, I, I, that first that first little trip there was pretty crazy. It does kind of uh, level out here. So it's only five o'clock in the afternoon. We got to get back on the main road here. We we got to kind of got to take you guys through the woods. It's actually a really pretty cool trip there. Yeah, so this this uh, this logging trailer, and I'll show you guys. We got enough. We we should have enough time. I'll show you guys a couple of more builds on this log trailer that you guys can see. Nice, uh, nice, pretty sunset. Oh, well it was. Got things change so fast in this game. So I was going to 
show you guys here it's got a nice interior glow in this truck it's probably and I'm I'm, I'm gonna go on a limb here and I don't say this lightly and I don't pass comments like this alone very lightly either I think two of the best trucks that have interior lighting right now um, one of those is um, one of those of course is the Roland 389 um, but I will put the lighting of this truck right along with it. Now, I know there's some kind of old school gauges, but this underglow that he's got going on underneath the seats here that's coming out is absolutely gorgeous. So I, I don't I don't give uh, comments like that lightly. I love the glow in this truck, man. It's so, so good. And I don't have the attachment. There's a light that you can have on this thing uh, that you can have a little like a color blue red, orange, yellow. You can have a bunch of different LED colors in here that shine in from the back and it's really, really, really nice. And I forgot to put that in there. So, yeah, no. Go figure. And you can actually see at night too. So I was like, hey, we ought to drive into the night and that way everybody can see it. But see this, this is this nice, very nice warm glow. Hey, Jesse. Yeah, man. What's a good purchase, man? Bing has done a really good job on that uh, on that 389, man. We'll throw his uh, W900 too. It's free, so if you guys are looking for a custom, uh, guys are looking for a custom, uh, what you call it? That one's a, a really good one to have too. Uh oh. Nobody saw TG run into that car. Saying a little too much there, Star. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, sure, we hit a deer. That's what that was. Uh oh. Oh god. Nope. Whew. That not cool. That's not cool at all. Yes. Uh, I mean, you can slow the time down. A lot of people take the warp function and they take it like 0.08, but then that 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 kills you for any any of the truck logging miles, whether or not you do uh, um, any of them really. Using the warp function kills it, so it's like crap. <laughs> Um, I wish this scale was like maybe two bigger. So I wish instead of like a what a one to nineteen is what we're at now. Um, I wish it was like a one to sixteen, which actually they tried in Utah when they first released Utah. They did the scale of the game. They changed it, and everybody was like, "Oh my God, it's taking me forever to get through Utah," which I think they kind of wanted. Um, and so it's like the load and everything is just get, it gets like immensely stretched out. And so you have this, um, you know, one to 19 scale, but yet it's, uh, it feels and drives a lot longer. So it takes you a lot longer to get somewhere. Um, which a one to one scale means it takes you 30 minutes to go 30 miles if you're going 30 miles an hour. Yeah, that kind of thing. That The math works out just like it does IRL. But they tried it and they brought it back down like a 116 or 117 and then everybody freaked out and complained about it and then they bunched it back up. And I wish we hadn't said anything and people wouldn't have complained because I, I would be interested to see what like 1 to 16 scale, like what that really feels like and whether or not it makes trucking feel a little more realistic so that you can't do like 2,000 miles in an hour or an hour and a half, you know. I think that's the only thing, so... What's up, Dave Dub? How are you, man? <laughs> See some sawed-off 
Nobody say anything unless it's you see someone who talked. Hey man. It's good, rolling it down. Like it, man. Lights, the glow, man, everything's everything's legit. And by the way, so underneath the I think underneath this this trailer, I mean sorry, underneath the cab there's these lights that are kinda like Joel's where they point down. Uh, but I think those lights, I think there's a little bit of really nice bleed over into the cab, and I think that's what I think that's what we're seeing. I think that's what looks so good. I don't know if that's playing secret, but if it is, just leave it where it's at. Am I happy for New Texas DLC? Yeah, well, I mean, it's not going to be here till the fourth quarter of 2022, so um, it's not going to be here for another year at least. We'll see. Uh, here's my suggest. Or here's my guess. We're going to see Montana, and we're going to see DX12 before you see Texas. And I would be willing to put money on the channel for it. Just seems like that would be a total SES thing to do. Everybody thought we were getting Texas, and eh, not really. Not really. I'm not usually a night driver. I mean, Y'all you know, know me. I, know I typically don't, because people don't really like to drive at night. There's something about driving in the snow. You know, especially if the truck itself looks good at night, then people are kind of like, yeah, okay. It's okay. <laughs> you bet me a thousand dollars. Who gets to keep the thousand? <laughs> How many gears? We got 18. We've only used about 14 of them tonight. We have not yet hit seven high to eight. So there you go, the watcher. Can't wait for Oklahoma. There you go, man. Think big. Think big. It'll it'll at least be uh, it'll at least be a year and a half, two years for you see that one. <laughs> Me, <laughs> you get to keep your thousand. That's what you're saying. You get to keep that. Okay. I'm actually looking more forward towards Montana than I am Texas, to be quite honest with you. I know everybody wants Texas, but I, yeah. I mean, from a scenery perspective, uh, I think Montana is going to look very similar to Colorado um, and uh, in Washington. And honestly, those two are my favorite. I tell you what, I like. This uh, this mod this uh, so I'm running the Eaton Fuller uh, transmission mod, which is off Steam Workshop. And if you just type in Eaton Fuller, you'll see it. Uh, Cole Nutrition, thanks for the sub, man. Um, and it's pretty slick. And Justin, uh, is that Yaramio? Yaramio, uh, thank you there. Appreciate the sub as well. Um, I, I missed yours and Brandon's. Uh, anyway, thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, Sledge. I know. Yeah, good economy. Um, I got some more news on economy mode that y'all might like. Um, it'd be VTC operations with a certain um, wonderful program that I'm currently ambassador of. <coughs> anyway, four minutes left on the delivery. You can see what we got here. And then... Uh, I will show you guys uh, some of this login trailer so if you want to check it out. Can't purchase it yet, but you will be able to Monday when all the website stuff is fixed on uh, Pink Zen, So Yeah, it's my bike line. I, you know, that's the thing. They don't really do a lot. They, they kind of make a staple of each one. Uh, Wyoming seemed to me to be like the king of the two-lane road, uh, which I'm not opposed to. I mean, I think Wyoming's kind of boring that way, but then there's a whole sections of the interstate part of Wyoming that don't look anything like Wyoming what we got um and i thought colorado was such a really good mixture of what we of what is actually available irl which you can go see and watch videos and all that good stuff um so i thought it was very interesting that they did such a good job replicating the feel of colorado but then wyoming i mean i know there's nothing in wyoming but still 
scenically, it's still a very, very, very pretty drive, especially on the interstate that runs through the south part. You're still getting some mountains, and then you're getting some of that more flatland. But I don't know, it just, it just kind of, it didn't. I don't know, it didn't, it didn't hit on much for me. Um, but I'm hoping Montana is going to be a really nice mixture of Washington, North Idaho, uh, and then mixed in with some Colorado. So, because it shares regionally, it shares the same stuff. So. Um, my hope is is that those two mesh really well together. So we'll see. Yeah, I, I, yeah, and I know Cole, I, and I think I, I think the community needs a realistic expectation on what Texas looks like. Texas is boring, and you know if you're from Texas, then the cities are pretty cool. Everything's bigger. Yes, the cities are big, the areas are big, but it's still not a very scenically exciting place to drive through um and so you know i just i i know what's going to happen either ses is not going to deliver what people think it should have been or what it could have been and it'll fall flat like wyoming did people say well they really didn't do this if they'd have done this it would have made it the best deal see ever it'll be big but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be good you're going to have to wait a long time. So it's not going to come out until quarter four. Um, so Pavel said in the, in the live stream, it won't coming out until the end of 2022. So that's seasonal. So it'll probably be like a November, Thanksgiving, Christmas release. Um, and so we, there's a lot of time. <laughs> there's a lot of time between now and then. So, I, you know, I, I just, I think the community needs to have a realistic expectation of what Texas actually is going to be so that you're not disappointed because I think if you're disappointed with Texas I don't know what else you got to look forward to you know from a driver of just the sim you don't have anything in the Midwest to be like woo Kansas you know woo Nebraska woo it's all flat farmland for the most part I mean, you got some rolling hills but it's not you know you're not going to have what you're going to have in Montana I tell you Montana is going to be the thing I think if they do it right Montana could be the state that turns everyone's head like, what? I had no idea. Not a lot of cities in Montana, but when it looks like Montana, you don't need them. I mean, honestly, I could drive in Colorado every single stream if y'all let me. <laughs> Mississippi. <laughs> you like Wyoming? Eh. I, I don't. Yeah, I, it wasn't my thing. And I don't know, I think I was expecting Wyoming to be more think that's what it was my expectation for Wyoming was too high and because Colorado was so good Colorado was so good Wyoming was like man and I'm afraid Texas is gonna be like Meh. but then Montana is gonna be that thing that kind of like is gonna be kind of like the pickup where everybody's gonna be like all right all right I can I, I like this this is good love it so lighting in here man so yellow lighting looks like these guys haven't made the LED jump yet All right, seven miles, and then we'll turn it back daylight. Well, and ask the million dollar question, Cecil. I mean, maybe they will, maybe they won't. I don't know, man. I don't know. The southeast and the northeast will be the two redemptive pieces, the upper Midwest, so Michigan, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, man. But some of those bigger cities, and especially around the Great Lakes, if they do that right, those will be very redemptive. I think eventually they're going to have to do packs, and you know, they're going to have to do big, big, big solid areas, kind of like what they started doing with some of the ETS stuff. Speaking of ETS, y'all guys want to see one of the new best videos that y'all see in a while? So we did a video on ETS today. I don't know, but I'm like. Don't like cab overs, whatever. So I did three triple screen gaming. Got the got the uh, camera right here. It's got a nice view of the screens. So we did all realistic ops today. CV chatter, not a bunch of mindless senior live stream chatter like I do now. Uh, it was all just like straight up chill, relax, enjoying the drive. Go check that out. Go put a view on that thing because um, 
I'm planning on doing something very similar here, um, and uh, I think I think I think you guys will like it. It's not silent. Um, it's not completely just drone drone uh, picking out some of the prettiest areas to truck, the, the most pretty areas and DLCs and maps that we can that I can find. Um, it's worth going and checking it out. I think you guys will like it. Thank you, there, Aaron. Appreciate it, man. I like them. Uh, they're really super, super easy to maneuver. <laughs> they're really nice. <laughs> but yeah, go check that video out. Uh, I think I think you guys will enjoy that. It's a nice mixture of having the realistic feel of owner op type stuff with the company, um, and we've got you know, a lot of our moderators are here with us, like Bear and. Um, Sledge is in there with us, and Zell C Pain is there. So a lot of the guys y'all see names for with, you know, almost every single night. Um, you know, they're they're in that video as well. So kind of get to get to hear them talking and tin forward and copying and you know greasy side downs and all that other good stuff. <laughs> all right, here's our drop off. Let's see. Okay, so we don't even have to... Oh, this is one of those big ones. Like it. Yes, you can have the link for the vid. Someone can throw that up there. Yeah, oh yeah, we were in Iceland too. Yeah, we were in Iceland. It was uh, it was really nice. So we saw some snow. That was coming up in the second episode. We can get, we can get, uh, we can get these guys to throw it up there. If you're in my Discord, it's in the video in the in the FTG on demand. It's the one around before. <laughs> so you saw the trucks, then you were like, "Man, I'm gonna dislike this and go wait for the stream tonight." <laughs> Don't lie. I'm getting lost. Where am I going? Oh, I'm way over here. Okay, here we go. Well, go ahead, uh, if you want to get it tonight there, no one you know, go ahead and throw your name in the hat. Go ahead and send a message. That way you'll be uh, you'll be first help tomorrow. So good, man. Lighting is good. Lighting is everything in ATS. They've actually got a lot of tools to do it right now. So it's good. I should have just went ahead and turned in. I know what I yeah, this is one of those legit sawmills. Like, yeah, this is like a FT farm sawmill. I hate messy stuff. Is Truckee better? Yes, Erica. I think so. Um, Truckee is um, is. Uh, I will tell you guys here at the end. Um, Truckee is going to be offering up a complete VTC schedule. So you'll be able to join a VTC, keep up with expenses, and miles, uh, your log books, everything through the trucking. Um, we're already starting to experience and experiment some with it here because I'm an ambassador with trucking. Uh, and it's good. Uh, right off the bat, you're going to have um, a lot more than trucking. But it won't be too complicated if you're running a realistic economy and whatnot. Um, but I think it'll be a good interactive tool to just to be able to give you some extra stuff. You'll be able to purchase trucks, garages, all kinds of cool stuff, which you cannot do with trucks books, um, and probably don't look for some of that to ever happen with trucks books being it's just only a log book. So, depends on what you're looking for and what you want. But their online tools are amazing, uh, and even their single their single stuff here you can tell is actually very nice as well. Depends on what you're looking for, as in all things. was awesome man that was a that was a good yeah. well at least right now I'm hoping that there we go I'm hoping there's some more things uh, Z that come in um, at least for the initial re it will be somewhat just drive and earn money and um, there'll be some new there'll be some new economy things that are going to sneak in there that I think will be nice um, but we'll just have to see um, all right, so let me show you a little bit here on this log trailer here. 
uh, let me let me disable. There we go, so we can go configure. So here is basically this is essentially a huge log trailer pack in all of um, in this whole thing. So you've got um, all of these different types of. See, this is actually on the Pratt side. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm I'm with you, Z. But it's not like Sped V. If people know what um, what Sped V and stuff is, Sped V is is uh, kind of hard and ridiculous. Um, but it's uh, very complicated for the average user to grasp, and it's um, you know the concept is good, but we we had a lot of problems with it. So I think Truck would be a good halfway in between guys that want to do some stuff and want to have a little bit more and better of experience than guys that just want to drive. So. Um, so here is essentially this one. Now, each one of these has essentially a few more different things. So here's what I was talking about. This one even has some crazy axle configurations for this one. And it also um, has different configurations for the logs. Um, so it'll throw these, uh, the long logged ones. I mean, sorry, the long ones in there. This is, then it's got this one. I have the short ones like you guys saw here. And then it's got all the axle configurations. It's just on this one side. And so this one. Is one of those I was telling you is pretty cool because it basically holds these like a sling, and then you've got more configurations of this stuff. Whether you stack them, uh, which you'd have to run a six by four on these, but you can stack these by doing the F7, I believe is what it's called. I think it's the F7 command, and then it'll stack the trailer. And then you get to your destination, then you can unstack it. Um, I think uh, Ki used that command for a lot of his stuff, but um, but anyway, you can do the short. And all these have loads that match these as well. So if you want to do the long one, this is the this one I was talking about where you basically stack them on the pin and then they basically just sit out here and they swing behind the truck. So it's pretty cool. Um, and then the last two, see so you had the, the loop, which basically stacks. I'm not sure how some of this, a lot of the times what Pinga does is he adds some of these things in there that he's working on. He just doesn't like hide them. So some of these may be things that he's going to be using in the future. He just hasn't cleaned them up yet. Um, he's kind of notorious for doing that. Um, but uh, anyway, really cool B-double um, a log trailer here. This is a really, really slick, nice trailer here. And then he's got the Arctic, which is a lot of people's favorites. Um, this one has essentially, yeah, here it is. So <clears throat> essentially has uh, four different slings. Um, and I think these one do double logs in this one um, is essentially what he set it up as a double trailer uh, with the hitch right here. So you got one one long one, and then you've got a bunch of shorties that are stacked up in this one and chained down. Um, Redwoods and uh, that other, um, I can't remember what he put. But anyway, that's what these are. And these are pretty cool uh, rather than being slinged down like they were before. They're kind of on their own full dolly trailer, which is you know pretty slick. So the Arctic is probably the one that most people know. Just because that's one of the mods that we've had running around here, like the cam, the um, Australian guys did the Arctic trailers. You could do like doubles and triples of that trailer. Uh, it's kind of crazy, but we basically, at least around here, we just see the four prong regular standards in there where they do like the ten foot, twelve foot logs in there. Um, that's typically around here what we see logging wise. We n we never see any of this really cool stuff. Now, most of our woods around here they're pretty they're pretty uh pretty barren, <laughs> not that exciting. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I thought he had, this might be the one, one of these has where it's essentially got a double down here, but anyway, you get the idea. So this is all something you guys can, um, can, uh, can mess around with here whenever he, uh, gets this up for Monday. Trailer still works. Um, he said there wasn't anything wrong with it. It's, it's really, um, I think he said it was four, one, four, one was the last running version. Um, but since none of these are tag axles, you don't have to worry about the axles messing up and lifting up wrong areas of the wheel. Um, but um, if you guys want to, let's see, let me just do, let's do, uh, just so I can show you. I know, I know this one is pretty cool. I actually like this one a lot. So let's do this one. I'm going to throw some wheels on it real quick, and then we will just go grab a load. We'll look at it, and then we'll uh, let's see. Nope, I think I got it this way. There you go. So we'll just do some simple black ones in there. All right, so we'll use that. 
And then let's go on over to dun 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 Yeah, so you can see what they look like. So you got these right here. I'm not sure if these are this might be the redwood logs he was talking to. And he's got like these long skinny probably spruce pine logs, whatever. Let's do these right here. I think we're picking up these right here. Um picking them up and I'll change I'll change the uh, Uh, there it is. And I'll change time. So, we'll see the big one. So, that is way over here. Man. There you go. Uh, yes, so Pig Aside will be back up Monday. Yeah, so he's got his stuff back up Monday. And they're really good. They're really good looking, too. I mean, they're um, a really good look. I mean, it's uh, not just a tube wrapped with a texture. I mean, it's actually got some got some look to it, you know. But that's this one. And um, and then, so basically the same thing on the other ones. Anything that's got the, the haul in. These just are pretty... Uh, Up. Low air pressure. Hang on a minute. Hey, thanks, Johnny. Appreciate the 25, man. Thank you there for 25 super chat there, Johnny. Another great FT, another great video. But thanks, buddy. And I will see you next time, man. He has a lot of paper. <laughs> Where is our pressure? Uh, oh, there, top left. Uh, this thing right here. That dang thing at the top. Oh man, sorry guys. Went on my pressure to charge back up. So that, if I'm not mistaken, is the pressure. So stop release valve. So that thing is, I think, will flip back if I'm not right. If I'm not mistaken, whenever my pressure valve goes back up. Like an emergency, I don't want to say emergency stop, but it does say stop swinging to the left. So wait on my overall um, pressure to build back up in the truck. I must have been tapping on the brakes and didn't realize it. A wig whack. There you go. Learned something today. Um, so about 1500 is where it'll build up pressure to. After that, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't build up any higher. So weight on this one is 60,000 pounds. Well, four logs, they're probably heavier than 60,000 pounds. So you can see our uh, indicator went back up.
Here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course, SCS doesn't allow you to do that. Uh, you know, so the, so this was the funny thing. Um, so we we were noticing that farm sim. If you go back to the older tractors, like the older case tractor that you get in the New Holland tractor, even some of the older John Deere's that have it modeled in, like from SCS. Um, so we noticed that if you have like if you go get the old Max Superliner from Farm Sim, and I don't know Seeger if you play Farm Sim or not. But guys are starting to notice now that Farm Sim actually animates a gear shift to do all 18 gears. And even for the ones where you change low and high, it actually goes out of gear and back into gear. Where did this car come from? Oh my lord, where did it come from? So they may have died. So right now, Lucky, they're all shiny. The bumper is the one he was messing with to kind of, you know, maybe testing out a new textures on the bumper. I like it. I think you could almost take that texture, even, you know, mess with a little bit and probably apply it to the whole entire truck, to be honest with you. I mean, uh, you know, at least in an option to have. If you don't, you know, if you don't like it, then you don't have to do it. But I was like, that right there would honestly be pretty slick. So. Yeah, all right, so yeah, so farms in, they actually, they actually um, have every single gear is notated in that. So you can see every single gear shift, even between one, two, three, four, all the way up. Um, and you see them come out of gear, go back into gear. Every single one, depending on what's happening. And I'm like, it's crazy that farm sim does that. You know, farm sims, you know, it's a, not even a truck game. But yet, you know, we can't do that here. Because I think, you know, here's what I think. I don't think SES really has to do anything with it. I don't think they really got They just put the ability for guys to be able to do the stuff and put some of the tools in the modder's hands and the creator's hands, you know, that actually can do some slick stuff with it um, and make the game better for the, the main community base. I, mean, I think it'd be a win-win. Um, and I think the community would take those things and they would attach whatever they could to them and make them even better than what they are now. But... Doesn't look like any of that kind of stuff is going to happen, so. <laughs> yeah, I know, Diesel. That's what I mean. Farm Sim's got them. <laughs> Which is just, out, out, you know, it's kind of outrageous anyway, so. All right, cool. Well, that's going to be uh, that's gonna be it for today, man. This has been a... Uh, been a been a good stream so let me go back to uh there we go it's been good um so thank you man appreciate uh seeker is the uh so he's mason's uh mod shop here in the uh in chat so uh it's always good man when the modders come hang out with us to say hey and uh always good to show uh new modders to the community and um and so thank you guys for y'all's uh trust in me to be able to you know throw you guys to some new places and some new names um, and be able to showcase their stuff and, and really the best way possible, show you what all it's got, uh, give you some good, uh, you know, some tips and pointers of how to utilize it, especially if you, you know, kind of in a drought and there for a while. I feel like all we had were nothing more than just, you know, new trucks coming out, Peterbilts and, um, you know, Kenworths. We had a bunch of lowered and slammed out stuff, which is my thing. I like it. Um, but a lot of times, man, I like, um, you know, I like seeing some of these older school stuff come in. Um, it's just really, um, it's, it's, it's really, really nice. Um, so, uh, seeing some of the older trucks, I always used to like it when Chaos Shadow Walker bring in some of his new trucks and I'll show those to you as well. Um, as we're, um, uh, as we're kind of looking over the new, uh, some new things here, kind of waiting on some new stuff to kind of take, um, you know, take shape. Hopefully we get some updates, hopefully, you know, some new map, um, you know, um, information or at least some teasers with montana to figure out you know when when we're going to see some updates here for ats and 
Uh, ETS is fixing to drop. They're fixing it. Well, I know fixing, but they're getting close probably to dropping uh, Russia. Uh, that's a big one. I mean, it may not really apply to many of you guys. Y'all might not care, but for um, at least for the eastern part, western part of Russia, that's going to be a pretty big deal. See, they've been working on quite a while for ETS. So it's probably going to be pretty big. Um, so I'll be, I'll be interested to see, you know, kind of how things uh, do. So how do I always find all these paid mods? Um, sometimes they find me, but honestly, Watcher, I mean, um, I spend time in my Discord, um, and I read, and I look at, the pictures that everyone posts and I see people that are working on stuff and I see guys that are working on new things. Um, we've got a new mod role inside our discord so that, uh, a lot of these guys can come in and, um, and, uh, actually got a little modders corner. So we've been actually seeing some previews from Dom. He's got his 379. He's been showing some previews of his skin template, skin template and all of his stuff he's got update wise on 379 so that's been cool to see sartania has been going in there and updating some with his uh b doubles and some new trucks he's been working on um and it's been cool to see so i think from those things man a lot of it's just being aware of uh, you know what's in the community jumping through face um jumping through facebook um and uh because it doesn't take long because if someone shows something everybody's like oh can i get a link can i get a link and then and then it's like well you pretty much know where that stuff is so it's not too hard to find, man. You just kind of got to be, you know, you got to be in the community kind of looking at things and then you figure it out pretty quick. So, yeah, so it's basically, so Tokyo is basically the, the, the Western, the Western half. So they pretty much have stopped things at basically um, central Turkey. So at least what our understanding is, it's going to be most of that Western turn um, that goes all up to Scandinavia back down. So I, at least what we think is it's going to be pretty big because they've been working on this DLC for a long time, probably as long as they've been working on Texas. Um, so, but, uh, but yeah, so it'd be good. So, um, yeah, I mean, Hey, I'm always, yeah, I'm always uh, CSX. I'm always, you know, willing for people to send me stuff and, and I always tell people and, um, and, you know, especially we got new guys in here as well uh, that are curious, you know, well, how do you, how do you dictate? I usually don't show stuff on here that I wouldn't be willing to buy for myself or that I don't want, or at least that I know that other mods have come up and, um, uh, are at least of a certain quality. Um, then I'll make sure that I try to keep everything as high quality as I can, uh, for those that ask, you know, well, how do you, how do you get stuff on here? How do you showcase stuff? Um, I've turned down a lot of stuff just because it wasn't good enough because we've already got some things that I've shown you guys and i know a lot of y'all have purchased and then you come back and it's like you see something else and it's like you know if if you were if you were showing something that was kind of sub quality just somebody wanted to make a quick buck and then you bought it and said, oh this is great 15 bucks and i showed you an absolute ridiculous trailer for 20 bucks that was five times better and i knew it before it then you'd be mad <laughs> so <laughs> you know and i would be too i'd be the same way so um that's kind of the way it is man so um so yeah if you got stuff man send it to me send it send it my way uh be glad to take a look at it i i don't know tokyo i don't know man i, I guess that's a honestly they really got nowhere else to go i have to really think about it they've got everything um i would really like to see them redo the uk and really do iceland um and really do the upper north part of the scandinavian dlc but uh that's not something they're gonna do yet so you know what do we know <laughs> so it's uh it's what's coming so it's it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be big and large and in charge so uh but anyway thank you so much guys and thank you secret you are more than welcome uh thank y'all as well let me throw some shout outs here as well uh thank you there Mohammed. appreciate you coming to member man supporting the channel uh sartania kevin and jamal thank y'all for y'all's early super chats appreciate it uh, as always, Z Bullet there. Thanks for the five man new subs in the channel. Johnny Newton closing things off there with $25 super chat. Uh, thank you guys very much, man. I will, uh, we should be live some, uh, let's see what's today, Saturday. So, uh, we got some more recordings. I'll probably do up some more ETS stuff, uh, coming up here early, maybe tomorrow or Monday, just to give you guys some, a little something, something to watch. Let me real quick throw this over here so you guys can check it out. Um, would love to see some views get put on these videos, um, and you guys to give them an honest shot. Um, I know it's, uh, there it is right there. So I just dropped that video down in there. Um, even though it's, uh, it's ice, it's Iceland, we're still in cab overs. They're still pretty awesome. 
uh, it's really a realistic uh, kind of a company ops gameplay where there's not a lot of talking, not a lot of jib jab. Uh, it's just enjoying the scenery. Good third person, good first person. We're running full triple screen. Uh, and I'm actually using the CB and stuff on the button box. So I think for a lot of guys, I kind of like seeing some of that stuff all happening at the same time. So enjoy that. Uh, we'll do the same thing here for ATS. So um, so just stay tuned. It's coming. Uh, but other than that, man, Dr. Delight is where all of our funk here out of the 70s has come from tonight and uh, last stream. So if you go check out Dr. Delight, go check them out. It's actually really good music. <laughs> so anyway, thanks, Seeker. Appreciate the uh, the quality, high quality work here on this, man. Uh, absolutely fantastic. For the rest of you, y'all have a great rest of your night. Uh, I'll be back in here uh, early this week. We'll start off with the new uh, weeks of uploads and some new live streams and some new stuff in as well. We're going to be gearing up, and hopefully, um, you know, we're going to give another valiant attempt for iRacing this year. Uh, we got the Daytona 500. It's going to be cranking up. So, uh, what, first week of Feb. So, we got some learning to do and some other stuff, which we're going to be moving. I think iRacing is going to follow some of the schedule with the next-gen cars. So, you'll see some next-gen cars as well. So, hopefully, we are, uh, you know, I can get some more time uh, during the day. Uh, especially with the little one going to be in school four days a week this uh, this you know semester it's going to be hopefully I uh, might be able to work some of that in so I always enjoy doing racing with y'all because I'm typically way different than when I race than I am doing trucks so yeah <laughs> so anyway you guys have a great rest of your night and uh, and we'll see you here uh, early this week so y'all go watch that video. Uh, it's only about 30 minutes, perfect amount of time here because it's super relaxing. I guarantee you, you'll be asleep before you know it. Not that it's not exciting, but it's just that relaxing. So anyway, y'all have a great one, and I will see you here in the next live stream, guys. We'll see you.